time at like two, three o'clock in the morning and I could not go to sleep. So that's when I finally decided that I'm clearly not Dr. Ray. Like I've seen enough WebMD, but clearly it's not curing me. Ooh, that's okay. Okay. I got bars. All right. So anyway. So Tuesday, Tuesday, August 11th, by the way. I don't know why I'm acting like I don't know what time it is. I go to work every day, okay? There's really no way to. Anyway, I just thought I'd come back, say hey, y'all. Hope that everything is going well. I'm definitely in better spirits today, if you cannot tell. Um, and I kind of just wanted to talk about how I got into the healthy lifestyle and kind of what it is, or kind of what it's like living with rheumatoid arthritis. I mean, I was diagnosed about four years ago and, you know, I'm on the good side now, but there was once a time where it wasn't so good. So let's talk about it. So y'all know I'm new to this whole YouTube thing, right? And I try to tone down my light a little bit because i be in here glowing do you understand and there's nothing i can do i'm just gonna be shiny i'll try to work on that at another time anyway i hope everybody's doing well um i do appreciate the feedback that people have given me and the views that i have gotten so far on the two youtube videos that i put out so this is my third and i kind of just wanted to talk about how i got into the healthy lifestyle and what it's like living with rheumatoid arthritis so i was actually diagnosed about four years ago yep about four years ago with rheumatoid arthritis right and initially they thought it was lupus so let's just bring it back real quick i definitely was not a girl who had to go to the doctor often i would go to the doctor for the basics but if anything else was wrong outside of that i would always try to self-medicate i know that it sounds bad just call me dr ray most of the times i successfully figured it out this time you know I, what happened was I was actually going to work one day and I've always worked in like um, commercial real estate right so most of the time I'm behind the desk and this particular day when I started to experience things I was just thinking that I was like getting carpal tunnel or something like that because I'm always typing on the phone using a calculator whatever the case may be so I was like that must be what it is so I tried to do all these natural types of supplements to see if I was able to bring it back and kind of get things where they needed to be and I couldn't and it ended up getting so bad that at first my fingers would be numb and um, which was really scary and then after my fingers were numb it would take a very long time for them to warm up and they would turn like this whitish bluish color it was really weird and then after that happened I ended up um, having issues with like doing minimal things like opening the door I couldn't even grab the handle to open the door it was hard for me to drive it was hard for me to like just do the basic stuff and as it started to progress like I couldn't even step into the tub to get into the shower because my hips would be hurting and when I woke up in the morning the balls of my feet like the back of my ankles would hurt too so it just was really weird and then I started getting this shooting pain in my elbow that would go all the way up to my shoulder and it was the pain that I couldn't touch like I couldn't feel it to touch it but it would wake me up every morning around the same time at like two three o'clock in the morning and I could not go to sleep so that's when I finally decided that I'm clearly not Dr. Ray like I've seen enough WebMD but clearly Clearly, it's not curing me. Ooh, that's okay. Okay, I got bars. All right. So anyway, so it just was not working. And finally, I went to the doctor. And after them doing a bunch of tests, like I said in the beginning, they thought it was lupus. And then after they checked like my kidney and my liver and something else, which are like main indicators that it could be lupus, they realized that those organs were healthy and so it couldn't be. And so when I moved to Atlanta, because I'm originally from Seattle, I ended up getting referred to a rheumatologist and she got blood work. And then they tested some areas like on my hands, my elbows and my hips where I was experiencing pain and they noticed like erosion. So first of all, I am a G, okay? I don't really cry that much, but I remember like crying because I was like, damn, like I'm young. This is something that older people should get. Like, I'm not ready for that yet. What's gonna happen with my kids? You know what I mean? Like, you just start to think the worst. At least I did. And um, it just was very scary. And so they had to do a multitude of tests on different type of medications to see how they will work. So let's get into the medications real quick because girl, 
they were trying to play. First of all, it was just like a high dosage of like an aspirin or something like that. I think it was called naproxen. And it would pretty much make you sleepy, but it would take down the swelling and inflammation that you had in your joints and tissues. So that was cool. And then they started to give me additional like steroids because I was still having the pain. Now, I'm gonna tell you this, steroids is definitely something that if you need to have it, then take it because it can be beneficial for you, but long term, no ma'am. So not only did I have a full blown mustache, I had sideburns like I was in like a 70s, you know, group or whatnot. I got big. Oh God. Oh, it just oh, was trying to take me out. So I was like, okay. And that was short term, but I felt a lot better. So doing simple hand movements, getting out the bed, like I was good, but then I was looking like Rasputian. Like I, come on, I'm 5'3". So then it, it advanced from that to getting Humira. And I'm pretty sure that some of you guys are probably um, familiar with Humira. Not only do they run plenty of ads on television, but there's other people outside of people who have rheumatoid arthritis, which is an autoimmune disease, who also use Humira for like, what is my wax lady? She has, um, it's a type of um, psoriasis, that's what she has. And so she has a type of psoriasis and she gets it and it calms down the inflammation of her skin so she doesn't break out. So it's beneficial, but you do have to give yourself shots I think a couple of times a week or something like that in the thigh or in the stomach. And so I was nervous about that. They gave me another medicine called methotrexate, which I was sick with for about five days. And I said, if I'm gonna feel like this, no way. And then finally I got infusion. So long story short, I went through a few test runs of different medications and then I came out good on the other side. But at the same time, um, I also knew that I needed to make sure that I took care of myself because there's certain things that you can eat and drink, which I think I mentioned before in another video, that definitely help um, you continue to keep your muscles and tissues inflamed. So alcohol is one of them, red meat is definitely another. So you just have to be really careful. And once you become more in line and in tune with your body, you'll make sure, you'll know when you're eating something that's off because you can pretty much feel it right away. Your hands and stuff will swell. Now I don't have just arthritis like just in my hands. It's literally all over my body. So that encouraged me even more to get on the healthy lifestyle which is why I did. So working out definitely um, aids to the benefits of keeping me, you know, <laughs> hey, ready for my husband. You understand what I'm saying? It keeps me together. I'm still getting there. By the way, I am 22 pounds down now. So I'm still working. I think I'm gonna use a goal of 30, but we'll see, you know, we'll see kind of how we go with that. But it just really made me focus on my health because I do want to live long. I want to live a healthy lifestyle. And before this, I didn't have any pain or anything that I was going through on a regular basis. Hell, I mean, I even take birth control, even though I'm not humping, but well, I take birth control and um, I didn't have a period. So it's like, there wasn't anything that I was really having to do outside of like the regular checkup. So going from that to actually have to take medicine to feel good was like, no. And so in my mind, I was like, I need to make sure that I'm doing what is necessary to take care of myself so that hopefully I can put this into remission for a little while or just so that I can feel as good as necessary and I won't have to take the medicine. Anyway, I kind of just wanted to fill you guys in. I mean, that's kind of what gave me the push to move forward forward with a healthy lifestyle i mean working out is really good being healthy is really good clean eating is really good because let's face it when i was coming up you know i was raised by a woman who was from birmingham alabama and everything she made was from scratch it was delicious so nobody at that time in particular was like really focusing on their health or taking care of their health in that kind of way right like when somebody was taking care of you or making sure you were good back in the day it was really to make sure that you ate like that was like a big thing and they were going to feed you and feed you well and you were going to be full and go home with extra plates but it wasn't so much making sure you're eating the right things and portion control and pay attention to sodium and all you know what i mean like y'all know what i mean come on now we, we know what we're talking about so that's kind of what it was so combined with just me getting older combined with the rheumatoid arthritis that i was you know um that i was what is the word that i was i was diagnosed with good lord um 
you know, that really like pushed me to be better to myself and to really get it together. Now, mind you, I mean, you can definitely Google rheumatoid arthritis if you need to get more information on it if you don't know about it, but a rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease. So it's not something that you have because you have an underactive, unhealthy immune, um, immune system. It's because you have an overactive immune system. So either way, it, does, it works against you, but I was healthy before that, right? But don't be like me and think that you're Dr. MD. Really go and see what's wrong if things kind of persist because I want y'all to live long just like I'm trying to live long. I want you guys to be healthy. And sometimes um, if you wait too long to get things treated and taken care of, there are certain things that can't be reversed. And I'm just happy that I did. For instance, when they were doing the x-rays and checking the certain areas where I was experiencing pain, that could have been due to erosions. And if I would have had erosions, I could have had like a messed up finger that possibly wouldn't have been possible to straighten out. Or if they straightened it out, they would have had to like break it. But then it would have been straight and all my other fingers would have been bending and this one would have been straight you know what i mean so just take care of yourself do what you need to do um follow up with a doctor we are getting older so things can happen but just try to be as healthy as you can anyway i hope that this video was helpful i just wanted to give a little bit of information about rheumatoid arthritis because most of the time when people hear that i have it they expect me to be 75 and i'm only 17 so it's like i don't know maybe like i didn't i don't know anyway um like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see y'all soon.